Hello again and welcome to Module 3. Uh, you'll recall uh, in the introductory video to Module 2, I spent some time talking with you about uh, the national discourse on community colleges, uh, student success and completion, and just beginning to think in terms of the whole planning process and making sure that we're all clear that our planning really is about student success and completion. Our organizations are complex. We have lots of different functions and things. Um, in addition to the programs, there are certainly the transactional places and pieces of the operation, the student affairs component, in addition to the teaching and learning. Um, we have sports teams. We have community service. We have our liaisons with high schools. Uh, there's a whole great big community that a lot of us are serving. So they're complicated organizations. But essentially, the main thing that we're going to be talking the most about and planning for and working for is more student success, more student completion. So with that as a backdrop, as we move into Module 3, I want to just kind of point out some things that will kind of get you thinking even a little more in depth about um, planning and, and all of that. The way Deb and I have kind of worked the, the course to this point is that we've spent a lot of time at the beginning of the course talking about mission, vision, values of the community college, uh, the whole nature of the discourse about success and completion, uh, and bringing the tools in and beginning to pull all that together. From module three through the end of the course, we're going to begin spending more and more time focused on those tools now that we've established that foundation relative to community colleges and our central mission and purposes these days. So here's just kind of what I want you to think about relative to, to all of this. We are going to be working within um, our external environments. And, and basically for that, uh, that includes just nationally where the country is around the issue of public and higher education and the roles that community colleges um, fit in, in all of that. Um, we also have spent some time talking about uh, culture. And again, we've tried to drive home the point that the culture of your institution is really going to drive a lot of your success and discipline around the whole planning process. And within culture, we've talked certainly about uh, mission, vision, values, uh, again, these are all things that are going to drive the tenor, the flavor, the feel of how planning works on each of your campuses. So what I want you thinking about now is all of this, as we move forward and spend more time with you talking about balanced scorecards and focus groups and how to do an environmental scan and SWOT analysis and all of that, all of that has to happen with these considerations in mind. But here's one key piece to kind of think about. That all of this should be built on a foundation um, that basically focuses on best practices. And this is, it's something that Deb and I have been working on and we've always presumed uh, in the, the previous iterations of this course that everyone kind of understood that we should be planning for the best possible implementation of the things we're doing relative to the success of our institutions. But given the national discourse on success and completion, this will be the first time that we actually probably spend some time and incorporate at least one best practice model for student success and completion. And so as you get into um, module three, you'll begin reading and learning about um, the ASAP model for student success and completion. Uh, you'll have uh, some web links to get you to some reports on that. And we want you just thinking in terms of best practices because essentially, if you go through the process of strategic planning and you get all the rest of this right, if what you're implementing isn't shown, hasn't been shown, uh, it hasn't been documented to, to be a best-in-class way of attending to uh, various issues relative to student success. 
you, you might very well plan and implement flawlessly, but you could be planning and implementing something that just hasn't been shown to give you kind of the return on the investment that you're going to be looking for. And so we will spend time making sure that within this whole discussion, we spend time both showing you at least one best practice model around student support, student success, and completion, and encouraging you to think about looking for best practices relative to your planning on your campuses, in your units, in and around the things you're doing. So that brings it all together. All of this will in turn lead to um, the various processes and, and, and things you're going to do relative to actual planning. And so we don't know your organizations as well as you do. We don't know the local or regional opportunities you have. We're not in a position to tell you exactly what it is you should be doing. But as you consider your plans to make your institutions and your students more successful, we want you to be thinking in terms of understanding your external environment, understanding the role of culture and how it plays into your mission, vision, and values, and that you would be looking for best practices that make sense for you relative to your planning efforts. And so that's what Module 3 is all about. And from this point as we move forward, we'll be spending more and more time making sure you understand exactly what the strategic planning tools are, and exactly how to play them out to make your institution as effective as possible. So that's what we've got ahead. Again, exciting readings. Keep up with the discussion board posts. Those uh, are very critical, very helpful in terms of engaging your, your colleagues in the course. And as always, you know how to reach Deb or me if you've got questions uh, about your progress or any of the assignments, um, the um, group project, any of the stuff that's still to come in the course. So thank you for hanging in there with us, and uh, we'll be back in touch real soon.